The abuse, hate, death threats, and endless threads across social media about how I'm the most evil person in the world have truly ended me. Read every thread and every DM, you win guys, I'll leave YouTube. Always was positive and had a smile for eight years of making videos, but today I didn't want to even wake up. Just to clarify, I didn't set the price or take a percent of the break. Didn't have a say in how the packs were open either. Tried to make it a little better with the prize increase and the cards graded, but not enough. I'm sorry for everyone who hates me for buying my car too. You'd be pleased to know it broke and I no longer own it. Loved every minute of making fun Pokemon videos, but being degraded every day as a human has really destroyed me. Keep on gaming and goodbye. So I hope he does come back from that. That is just not what you want to see at all. That's so yeah, yeah. Yeah. I feel really bad for the dude. I'm not just saying that because I'm live right now. That's not what you want to see at all. I feel really yeah. bad for the guy. You know, people, it's all fun and games until yeah. like that goes down. And I know that he could be staging. I know people are going to say like he could be staging it for the drama, whatever. But I watched the stream in real time. And I said this during the video. I literally saw the guy's heart break in real time. For six hours, the guy sat there. I've had streams here where I've wanted to stop streaming and I have stopped streaming prematurely. I don't show you guys that I want to stop streaming. I just play it off because it's part of the gig. It's what you're doing. You're putting on a show here. But that is, that was yeah. fucking real. Like I, I could see and he actually sat through it, which kudos to him because it was a yeah. train wreck and he had to deal with it. So, um, you know, I feel really bad about that and I feel really sorry for the dude that he's has to put up with that. Yeah. I know people don't, I know drama can be a bit tiring in the Pokemon community, especially on YouTube. Um, yeah, I know drama can be tiring. It can be tiring. It is tiring. It's just, a, it's just a part of the hobby though. You can't ignore that it's there. And I just don't like that because you can't just, you can't just brush things under the rug and say, it's just Pokemon cards get on with it, just open the packs and ignore it and focus on the happy stuff. The yeah. guy is a human being. And I, you could see that he was yeah. upset about it. So I don't like that at all. I'm not here, out here trying to, I'm not, I know he's, I know you could say he's doing the standard. I'm off socials. Um, you can hit me up, but I don't care how many subscribers you got. This was the point I was trying to make in the video. I don't know how, I don't care how much money you got, how many subs you got, whatever your follow account, people are people. And people get upset. Things break people. Like, he'll bounce back. I'm sure within like a month, he'll be back and doing it again. But people take things to heart. There's only so much you can sort of shield yourself from and barrier from. So people take things to heart. And it, a lot of what happened crossed the line the other day. All right. Because there was a way to criticize it and question it. And criticism and questioning things is good. Okay. We should question things and we should hold people accountable when they miss them. But there's a way to do it. Uh, creating a clickbait video, calling someone a scammer is not how you do it. That's taking advantage of somebody else's clout and situation and standing for your personal gain. And you guys know the video I'm talking about. It was like the yeah. fucking pot calling, calling the kettle black because the guy that made that video is peddling NFTs. I said that in the video. I'll say it again here. Not squeaky clean either. So don't pull the holier than thou card unless you actually are yeah. in like Jesus yourself. Okay. It basically set a huge hate wave at him. And I saw the comments. It's not nice getting death threats. I've been doing this for a year, just over a year now. I don't really get death. I don't get death threats. No one's told me to kill myself. I've had people like criticize me and insult me, but I don't care. I got thick skin, but there are, there are times where too many at once can be very tiring or a consistent flow of abusive or mean messages can be very tiring. It's debilitating. It breaks you down, especially when you got personal shit going on. Like YouTube is just one portion of someone's life. So, you know, you could be having, you know, outside IRL stuff happening at the same time. YouTube could be the, could be the release. It could be the break from it, right? Not your, your whole life. So, when you're having problems during your actual, I'm not saying the dude's got issues during his actual life, but if you're having you know, like a bad time outside of YouTube and then you're also having a bad time at YouTube, it can really, really, really bring you down. I was really upset to see that. Very disappointed. Um, you know, it's it's a yeah. Pokemon card community. Yeah. Pokemon cards. This isn't like, it wasn't a save the kids 
crypto scam. It was yeah. Pokemon cards. It's supposed to be fun. So I'm just pretty upset about that. And I think people need to take a step back and realize that the people behind the screens are people. They're not just, you know, they're not a monkey that dances. That's all. Do you reckon it's a cool trophy to have? Scalping unlisted leaf? Just a really quick editor's note here. The term to scalp somebody is a Aussie way of saying to claim a trophy. So in this instance, somebody's made a video to take down unlisted leaf and has scalped them, claimed his head as a trophy. It's kind of cringe if you ask me. People literally joined the hobby because of the dude. He has made like, love him or hate him, cringe or not cringe, he is made of what it is. Did he make a mistake? Yes, I don't disagree. I, 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 I do totally agree that he made a mistake. I think he made a mistake with it. I think he realizes he made a mistake though. I think he well and truly realized it during the stream. And you know, that wasn't enough for some people. People aren't happy until there's a scalp, until, until, until there's blood, people aren't happy. Until there's blood, people aren't happy. And that's just 101, that's internet 101. I have no doubt he'll be back and he should come back, but you know, a lot of the people, uh, when I put the video up yesterday, a lot of people said just because he's been around for a while doesn't mean that it's okay what he did just because he's been around for a while. Somebody said, your honor, like someone left like a, a joke comment and said like, your honor, I've done charity work for six years. Like, please spare me of the charge or something along those lines. And it's like, dude, that wasn't the point I was trying to make. I'm just trying to say, rather than judge someone on one action, judge them on all of them. And you look at his track record and he's made stupid videos about Pokemon cards for however many years that are mainly targeted at children that don't impact the hardcore modern collector trader. So, you know, why are you going to go in on him? <laughs> why are you going to go in on him like that? It's, it was just, it's too heavy handed. It was just too heavy handed. Death threats are always way too extreme. Think about the, just think about the example that you're setting with this one. Not you guys in particular, but just in, in totality, just think about the example that's being set here, right? Because I'm just going to switch. Just, you just think about the example, right? A lot of people were saying, oh, because he has a big audience, right? That is mostly children. It's not a good look, right? Which I understand. It's not, it's not good when you, you kind of do something that looks like it's taking advantage of your audience, right? But on the contrary, to counter that, the response is a terrible look for children. If, if, if adults are going and logging in to a, to a basically a children's YouTube channel, right? Uh, people are leaving death threats. People are telling him to quit the hobby. People are telling him there's a disappointment and a disgrace. What kind of example is that setting to the, the people that watch the videos, the audience, which are kids? Is that, is, are, you, are, you teaching, are you teaching the audience? Are you teaching kids that you should basically, you know, go with herd and mob mentality when someone does something you don't like and chastise them for it endlessly until they buckle, which he did when he put on his Insta story? I don't know. Between the two, both are bad, but one collectively we can all control, which is the response. Everybody can control their response and it's how you respond to things that define you, in my opinion. So uh, the audience's response was quite poor. It was instigated by that particular video that came out three, four days ago. You know the one I'm talking about. I'm not going to give it any more airtime than it's already got because it doesn't deserve it because it basically kickstarted this yeah. whole show. Um. Yeah, I just hope Ando's response from here is uh, to come back and I'm sure he'll do something good, but it won't happen until people lay off. So that's, that's it. Okay. No more. We can all be better. We can all improve. Strive for greatness. Be better people. We can all find a way to improve. Everybody. I'm not saying I'm perfect. We can all find a way. Myself included. I'm, every day I'm looking. We should all be doing that. Don't call me beautiful. I told you, don't call me beautiful unless you're going to take me out for dinner. Dinner's on you.